Hello, thank you so much for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. I just wanna go into a little flow, uh, share whatever the guides have to share, uh, maybe about the incoming energies, maybe do a little energy update at the end of this video. So. And so as we balance out our energy, as we allow the balance to occur from within, it allows us to balance all that is being presented to us in such a way that we are able to move through with much more grace and fluidity for there are upcoming world changes and events that many of us are witnessing now. We are beginning to see certain things unfold that we may or may not like that are perhaps attached to an old energy that has yet to be completely dismantled. And yet we share that coming up from the earth's mantle is an energy that is so swift, that is so strong, that it is helping all of the star seeds from one perspective or humans on earth in this human collective expand their energy profile. It allows for a prolific extension and expansion of energy and frequency that it is beyond measure. And many of you have witnessed the most recent measurements that have been taken on the earth, um, earthly energetic acoustic, one may call it. And we may have noticed that this acoustic has risen or that which can be measured is having difficulty being measured for all of the influx of energies that are coming up in flux that we are feeling as we move through in fluctuation allows us to re-adapt, uh, one might say. We are all in the process of adapting to these energies in a new way, for our body is enhanced. It is enhancing its mobility, its ability to be mobile in the fluid, in the sense, in the senses, in that which is being born within the senses and within the fluids of the body. For within the body of the earth, as these changes are made, so too are the changes within the body of that which she has birthed or her children, one might say. For we have all been birthed on this earth in one way or another. And so as we grow, so too does she grow. As she grows, so too do we. And while not everything looks as not everything may seem or look as um, graceful as it could be, we are here to remind you, the we, that we are all growing. And yet in this growth spurt, there are growing pains for some and it pains some to see others in pain and it pains others to see that some do not want to grow. And this is how it is. So we are being invited to go back to the drawing board, go back into the drawing up, the drawing in, the drawing from within, so that we may pull from us, so that we may pull through us, this new ability to draw out a new reality and to clear away the idea or the drawing of certain conclusions that are potentially founded upon false uh, drawing boards <laughs> that have been previously uh, introduced to our reality. So let us go into a multidimensional way of, uh, of communication in this moment. For as we share this energy, it is a multidimensional form of communication for we are accessing the we, the higher um, uh, 
community, we might call it, of energy or a collective of frequency that allows for these transmissions to come through with a sense of fluidity and rhyme or poetic balance, we might call it. And this is meant to keep a higher frequency and a higher resolution when um, describing what it is that we are energetically uh, including I'm hearing conclusion, inclusion, um, uh, frequency patterns, uh, I'm just seeing a lot. And so we invite many to open and here we go. All right, so I think we're going to kick it up a notch. <laughs> this is going to be a play of words, I think. I'm using mudras to enhance the frequency. We share an energy. We share these sounds or enhanced versions of sounds that we can all co-create with our human body. And each sound holds a frequency or a symbology, we might say, in the sound or the frequency behind the sound. And we share this through the tones and the uh, frequencies that hold a shape. They hold a pattern. The body recognizes this pattern and sometimes can feel into the landscape that is holding this pattern. And so this allows us to dip into certain frequencies that enhance our senses, our sensibilities, our ability to sense and to see, and to make the appropriate adjustments that allow us to be free, to let go of some of the harnesses that have been thrown around or that have been harnessed around the sound so that we could perhaps feel comfortable so that we could perhaps feel um, as if this was it. So I'm being called to share what that means is some people are very comfortable in this bubble. And when they hear, hear certain sounds, they don't like it because it feels foreign to them. But what I'm being shown is we're being called to open up to I'm hearing the foreign currency, the exchange, the currency exchange. It allows us to exchange currencies with a higher frequency that maybe some of us are not used to playing with if we choose to. Many of the sounds and languages that our ancestors spoke held a currency within it. This currency within allowed us to tune into vibration. This vibration allowed us to stimulate the senses. It allowed us to stimulate certain organs associated with certain senses and sensations. And so while these currencies and exchanges are not exchanged necessarily on today's platform as regularly as they were on a 
previous platform, or we could even say tuning into a future variation of the current now situation and frequency exchange. So we are tuning into a multidimensional weave, if you will, a weave of geometry, a weave interlacing patterns, frequencies and sound, harmonics and light, wave reflections that allow us to um, harness and um, I'm okay, so I'm seeing a binding and an unbinding. So there were certain sounds that were created that were harnessing us. And there's another group of sounds that are created for us to release th those harnesses. I'm seeing like, you know, horses on a drawn carriage. And it allows us to intu intuitively connect with our own inner horsepower and rearrange the frequencies in such a way that we're able to let go of those harnesses, those energy harnesses. And we're able to, um, I'm hearing maintain a certain congeality, congealness. So we're essentially then harnessing new frequencies by activating our memory complex. And this allows us to dial into and dial up to a whole complex of many different frequencies that were previously um, unrestored. So they are stored in the body. We were unable to get to them because we were being pulled back from it or we kept pulling back from it out of distraction is what I'm hearing or fear. So some of the sounds we heard and they made us uncomfortable because they stimulated certain frequencies that our, um, let us say, uh, current, I'm hearing diplomacy, didn't necessarily want us to tune into. For once we tune into these harmonics, we realize that the brain, the body, the human is capable of so much more. So we begin to interact with these sounds and these languages in a new way, and this opens new ways, new waveforms, new fonts, new technology, new way, ways to move through this fontification and allows for ports and open uh, harmonics to be restored in the human genome. And these ancient harmonics are stored within the plasma, the bones, and the um, hormones in the body and the temperature that we are all experiencing, this heat that is coming up from the earth, that is coming in from the sun, is actually allowing us to um, move in a variety of uh, Desolution, dissolving, dissolving the illusion. It allows us to heat up certain aspects of the body, raise our kundalini, although this is not the only signature or frequency that we are combining with and accessing at this time. It allows us to open our voice box, our center of creativity in this particular version and other versions of reality in a linearity, but it allows us to connect and communicate in time. I'm hearing with rhythm to all time, and it allows us to co-create and bind with the new, I'm hearing chemistry and geometry of the human um configuration so we are growing at a higher rate or speed of variations this is enhancing our network of observation it's enhancing our network of communication it's enhancing our net worth our ability to uh
Shue, Dede ki, Mati, Nawa, Huko, Newa. And through this interaction, through this inner resonance, this inner action, taking action and responding to the mechanics that are being extracted at this time that we are pulling up, one might say. It allows us to convey and to find a new structure of communication. And so while some are having difficulty with the old ways of communication, it is for a reason, for the old ways of communication are not necessarily bound to the new um, technological resources, meaning I'm seeing that they're not sticking, like um, uh, they're not la latched up. They don't fit because our resonance and our frequency is expanding so much that the old reality, and, and I also am being called to talk a little bit about, I know that there are some people who are watching this who have tuned into particular stories and paradigms of frequencies that have been keeping us from growing, you know, they've been harnessing our energy, so on and so forth. But what I keep hearing is we're outpacing them, we're outnumbering them, we're erasing them, we're out um, sourcing them. So we're connected into source and that's creating a, a deeper resonance. And so what that does is it allows us to just kind of brush off that frequency that's trying to attach itself to us from let's say a lower vibration. And I'm really being called for us to let go of the need to really analyze that, overanalyze is what I'm hearing. Stay out of the over analytics and allow the body to adjust in its own um, sequence. So it's our DNA is making these adjustments. Our, um, our body is just, is shape-shifting essentially. We're merging with this light body. We're accessing the higher brain, which I talked about in a previous video. We're accessing our um, compartments of our brain that weren't necessarily able to release what I, I keep hearing are the aqueducts. So there's something about the ducts, D-U-C-T-S, in the brain that once it vibrates, think of water that holds memory, and once it vibrates at a certain frequency, it's like a biting on a time capsule and it's a time release. And that um, liquid, we'll call it liquid plasma light, floods the senses. And, and once one opens, it um, pours out into the pores of the body and this is just what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing this energetically, but I also feel that it's literal. So there's certain parts of, I'm hearing brain enhancements and sound is one of the tools that we can use to open up that particular box, uh, that gift. And it can also be um, through verbalization. It can be through singing. It can be through mudras, dance, movement, mathematical, meaning just working with sacred geometry. And all of this is working together in a collaboration as we work in collaboration with our bodies, with the earth, with the tools like the crystals and with one another, because we are the tuning forks um, that are helping one another to access these these gifts and i keep hearing attunements and so it enhances our inner technology and we outsource meaning we we don't have to go outside of ourselves we outsource this outsource so whatever this was and we could label it as many different types of technologies whether it's emf or 5g or uh harp or whatever we are vibrating at a frequency that allows us to move beyond it. We are not, it is unable to harness the reality that we are actually accessing. And this has a little bit to do with, um, I'm hearing alternate and parallel forms of consciousness that we're essentially attached to through our DNA we essentially are able to clear it up, clear up the distortions by us 
resonating at this higher, I'm hearing performance, plan words. And also it all comes from the heart. So if we can allow the heart to connect the brain stem and we vibrate at a certain frequency through the bones, through the blood, through these plasma that is inside of our bodies, it's like Dr. Masaru Emoto and the um, water, uh, rice experiments, water. It's cymatics in the body is essentially what's happening. And so we might be called to make unusual requests. I'm hearing like the body is making a request. And if we can listen to it and just allow ourselves to move in that dynamic um, exchange, then we create new patterns like a snowflake. And this out patterns the old uh, structure. And I'm hearing it's flaking off. Like we're detoxifying, we're purging, and we're, sh we're sloughing off the old skin and this has a this is all a play in words because we're accessing the new skin from within it's like this light is coming up and we're beginning to um uh i'm hearing it's a re reference to the coat of many colors right our light body and we are essentially creating a new harmonic and sound is a natural part of the human hu color hu man Right. Um, and so we just haven't been utilizing it as a resource. And so we've been really kind of stuck in a technical or technological. Uh, I'm hearing just a cave like we've been hidden in this cave and now that's been blown open and we're starting to access this innate technology. So. Okay. I'm just going to end on that note and keep it short. And everything that I say in every other video, get into the heart, do the breath work, get barefoot on the ground, work with crystals, drink plenty of water. You can um, program your water with intention, bless your food, uh, interact with things on a more conscious level. And this is creating this cymatic, cymatic, cyman, ick of sound and each beautiful human is creating a template, an individual template that is harnessing a greater adaptability and um, expansibility in this newfound framework of reality. So I'm gonna end on that note. Namaste, thank you so much.